Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Monsters Den, Book of Dread with Wando Bondo. We're playing the mages. Oh, we made it to level 3. Uh, we're exploring around, but we're stuck right now, and we have to fight something. And this one looks like the easiest one to hopefully break open the map. Everything else is locked up. We haven't seen the final battle yet. Uh, we've got some tough battles here. It's going to be pretty tough. Um, this one's okay. Not too bad. We should probably be able to kill that troll pretty quickly and then deal with the Berserker and the Savage. Uh, these guys have stun resist, so the regular plan with the Cosmic Prison stunning doesn't necessarily work. I think with fire, I'm going to go ahead and pick Power Siphon for right now. I think that's a good plan. And just try to siphon their power out. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And that will leave uh, some other options here for the other guys. And I'm also going to put this guaranteed hit. This is more damage. We just got this one, I think, on the last battle. So this is more damage. Chance to kill and 7% chance to hit. And that's the main thing. So when I do Power Siphon, I want Power Siphon, unlike Cosmic Prison, can miss. So it drains up to 20 power from each enemy, though, and uses 50 power. So it depends. If there's three enemies, we can we can stun lock or basically power lock uh, it too without losing any power because we get back 13 and they will probably have 20 each. So that gives us 40 back. We use 50, we get 13 back. So that should give us our 53 and we use 50 and get 53 back. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Let's get rid of some of these pants as well. This is ridiculous crazy. I don't think I'm going to need any of these things. I don't think they could help me with speed at all. Uh, I do have, I need to save one in case I need these gloves here. I got one of each kind. Probably don't need two of these. But if I need to transform something, I will have to switch this out. So I do need to keep a little something around. Other than that, we have a lot of stabs. We got two of the same plain spine staff and an oak staff. And I think this is 53 and this is 53. So I'm going to go ahead and let this oak staff go. Okay, I think we're ready to get 102 damage there. I'm not sure what we're going to do with Ward. We're going to see what happens here. This is going to be a little bit tricky. But we've got the stuns and let's just start to work in it. I think here I'm going to let Blaze take a little pinch of damage. Let Ward he has the we we definitely need to get more power regen or health regen items absolutely absolutely must that's a must we're going to kill this artificer first then we're going to kill this berserker uh, stun them and then try to put them in some kind of power lock or something and we'll have to see how that goes I uh, want to spread the damage out here. I don't know what's going to happen. We may have to use a potion to heal up or something. I don't know. So we'll put. Uh, yeah, we're going to get and we're going to get cremated right here. And this is a good configuration for the artificer. Oh, we could, we could die right there. Oh man, we didn't die, but we could definitely die. Okay, well let's try to stun one of these guys. He's stunned, that's good. Let's definitely try to kill the Artificer or this Berserker. 
Mm, this is a tough one. Let's work on this artificer. Mm. If we kill the artificer, that could help us a lot. They only have 190, so we probably only have to hit three times. This berserker is going to hit one of each, so that's not too bad. We probably won't die from it. Good. And then this one, we can drain out the power. And then here, we could just try to stun it. Nope. It's not too bad. This one's stunned. So hopefully we can stun this guy again. Yes, that's nice. And we will just do that. And we will drain their power out again. And then that one's stunned. Let's try to stun this one. Anonymous, of course. This is insane. We're going to die if we don't do something. All right. I don't know if we're going to be able to stun anything else, but we can definitely power drain this guy, so that's nice. Let's try to stun, I guess. Excellent. All right, we're going to pass and get some health back. Fire is going to drain power. And this guy should not be able to hit this time. And we're going to just get a little bit of health back with our deal. Okay. And this time, this guy's going to die. We just might as well do that. Ward will kill this guy, get a little bit of power back. We'll drain the power out of this guy one time. Which will be enough to at least yeah, to pass again. And we'll have to pass here. And we'll have to kill it. And we're dying. And no health regen. And Ward needs help big time. All right, we've got ooh, 12 poison damage. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. We might want to do this on luck, so that way uh, we can... Blaze never did use the sword skill. Ward did get power back, so that's nice. Hmm. <coughs> That is a nice uh, weapon. Definitely better than this one. We'll let that go. Don't know about that. But that poison. 51 damage and poison. But right now I want that guaranteed chance to hit. But we need to regen. We definitely need. Okay, here's the final battle. Two shamans. One savage. One troll. Wow. Wow, this is going to be a tough one right there. That's serious tough. All right, let's try to get some gear here. There we go. Give me something with regen, please. <laughs> That's a duplicate item again right there. Where, who has this thing? Uh, let's see. There it is right there. It's identical. And now it's level 3 instead of level 2. Why can't we get something good? Why can we not get something good? Just crazy. One more armor, but we lose one strength. Intellect's good. 46 damage and one endurance. That's an upgrade. We'll take it. Get rid of that now. Well, we're just not getting the gear here. We're just not getting what we need and we're going to burn through 
we don't have any regen. We're just going to burn through everything we've got, and we won't be able to do anything. And we just don't have enough regen to deal with the problems that we have. We need some... Ooh, there's something. That looks like Staff of the Enlightened Magus. Very nice. That's pretty excellent right there. That is 2 intellect and reduces accuracy by 27%. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Blinding definitely would be something uh, of good, uh, a good deal. More damage, but we lose that chance to hit. So and then we lose the power regen there. But I definitely, in the future, I may like to do this. Uh, but this is not. This would definitely work when we have, um, when we can keep something in stun. Then we can stun one thing, stun another thing, and you know, pass the blinding around. Or if we get another item that really blinds something, so we can get another 30% blinding. So if we can get 50% blinding, then that would be something. But we're definitely keeping that. Uh, we got another staff or the poison. That's really nice, but we're not getting what we need, which is regen items or maybe a, a sword with poison on it would be good. We're just getting drain health, uh, instant retreats. We've got, you know, I think I've seen that. I don't know. We got tons of them with drain health, and here's instant retreat there. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely craziness. This is craziness. Orc Berserker and Orc Shaman. This is going to be really tough. We can't go in front of them. I mean, they go faster than us. That's the other problem. They just... We've got three heal-ups, but we don't have anything. We, we need to go to the store. We need to go to the store right now, I guess, because we are not going to make it through this level without something. We need to buy something or do something, and we need help, and we just don't have it. I know if we go to the store now, before we see what we're going to get, we're going to get duplicate items of everything. But you know what? We can't get that many duplicates of what we need. So we've got the Staff of the Enlightened Megas. That's pretty nice. We can sell a lot of stuff here. Yeah, it's time to go to the store. We are just dying, and we're just going to keep dying if we don't do something, and we need to do something. Let's start selling things here. I want to sell everything that I can. Just a regular nothing. Nothing big deal there. We got two of these. We're not going to transform pants. We will transform a cloak. We got two of those 165 and 158. We'll get rid of the 58 or the 65. We'll get sell the big one. Um, not going to do a hood, maybe we could. We're not going to do shoes, though. We might do a sword, we might do a staff. One endurance, no. One intellect, I might keep that. 18 armor, I don't think so. Four armor and one endurance, I don't think so. This I will keep. This one I will keep. This one... It's not really going to be that great. This one, same thing. I think we have better. 35 and drain health. I don't. Th I think we've got better than that. And this drain health and instant retreat. Instant retreat is probably better than one strength. That's only two more damage. I'd rather have the one more armor. Then the one more strength. What does she have? Drain health and intellect. Intellect doesn't help anything, so this is an upgrade here. And we've got a little bit of poison damage there, so. And we've got another in poison damage there. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the store and see what we see. Uh, we really need, we got 10,000. I'm willing to spend half of that or more. I don't know. I'm willing to sell a whole bunch of stuff, but we need our potions now because we're getting a keister's kicked. 
Uh, we need enough regen and probably uh, a lot of stuff. We need a lot of stuff. All right, Lady Luck, this is when it's time for you to shine, baby. Let's see what we got. The Blood Harvester. <laughs> yes! I can't believe it. We got the Blood Harvester. Oh, wait, we can't use that. Yeah, right. Elixir of Speed. Well, that's good. Um, not a lot of stuff there. All right, what about Gloves of Accuracy? No, of course not. What about soothing? Well, we got a lot of soothing gear. That's nice. It's too bad we didn't get accuracy. We really need that. But there's a lot of soothing soothing things. Ooh, purifying speed is nice. We definitely need more speed to get in front of these crazy. And we can't look at anything here. We can't look at anything here. Let's see if there was actually gloves here. No. I always like to see because that's what I'm always looking for. What about a weapon with... Venomous speed there is not bad. 55. We already got a chance to hit though this time, so I don't think I would change that out. Mm. Other than that, there's really nothing else we can use on this whole screen. We got the potions. Here's some things. Vampiric tenacity. Mm. Then more speed. That's not bad. That's a four quickness, and this would be a five more quickness. That's not bad. Ruined is pretty good, but none of that's worth getting. Yep, not really a lot there either. We can't use any of that other stuff. So basically, we already got Vampiric again, so this speed is good. We might get that. All right, let's see what soothing, soothing speed sounds pretty good too. We need for this guy soothing speeds. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. 1600 soothing. Yeah, we got soothing speed on the cloak, but we can use another soothing. That's one, two, we can get three. That's 1000, two, 3000, four, about 4000. Soothing pants. About 5,000. And here's a speed item. 6,000. 7,000. And then in trousers of speed. Purifying speed. Not too bad. I don't want to go crazy and spend a whole bunch of money on speed items either. But I would like to get in front of something. And we could definitely use both of these speed items. It's almost like we should spend all the money we have. We're going to get some money back from this level. And if we can avoid going to the store in level 4. But we need as much soothing as possible. Alright, well let's just buy it all. Looks for speed. Boom. Other equipment. Mm, we need speed here. We'll take that. We'll take that speed. We'll take this soothing. We'll take this soothing. We'll take that soothing. Speed and soothing will help us. Let's take uh, no more soothing. We get two more speeds for enough. We had enough to buy both of these. Oh, there's soothing and speed. do it. That'll give us some speed items and some soothing items and that's everything we've got. We're okay with this sword. We're okay with this. We've got enough stabs for sure. We've got some really good stabs and there's nothing else here to get. And this rune is nice but it really won't help us that much. And we're not definitely not getting another vampiric cloak we got enough of those. <laughs> Actually, we got everything we could get here. Let me make sure. Reflection, reflection, resilience, 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 reflection, and purification, might, um, insight, and purifying. 
Yeah, that's it. We already bought everything there. We didn't get a lot of great stuff there. Can't get any of that stuff. And, um, yeah, that's that. Wow. Okay, well, I think that's it. I didn't see anything else. Did I miss anything soothing over here? Can't use any of this other stuff. No, 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 no. And hopefully we'll get some more good things. We got another purple thing, though. That was really nice. So that was unexpected and pretty awesome. Uh, that might be something for luck to do, but 27% is just not that great. Um, depending, I don't know. Okay. We only got a thousand left, so let's see what we can do to boost up. If we could get luck, that's 50 quickness. We can get up to 60 something quickness. We can maybe stun something. Um, so there's four quickness. That'll only get us up to 52. Let's work on ward first on this health regen. So there's a health regen item. What about this? Health regen and five quickness. Uh, that would be pretty good. Let me just throw it on there and see what happens. More health regen, more quickness. No, we don't need that. More quickness. We could throw that on there. It would be 50-something. But here we want to get this quickness up as well. Four health regen here. We need the regen more than anything. There's five more quickness. All right. Damage reflection and more health regen. We already got that. We're at 49. Do we want to get rid of the drain health? That's a question. Do we want that drain health? Actually, 49, and with this boosting potion, we got two. We had a potion for the final battle, so that'll get us up to 69. That'll get us in front of anything we need to. So that's not bad, but we wouldn't mind being in front of something else too. Uh, we really want to get in front of things. So we've got just quickness now, I think. Health regen. So what do we got here? 12, 0, 0, 0. <laughs> God. Okay. Any more health regen? We got four, and we got four there. So one other person. There's a four, and we've got four here. So we could either boost luck up in front of something else with quickness. You know, this only gets us one more. It's 57. That's not really going to help anything. 48. Here's 57. I think I want... Yeah, we already got another escape item. Drain health, instant retreat. It might be good to have two people with that, but... We got 53 quickness and 56... Any more speed? Wow, another discretion cloak, yeah. Uh, four health regen. We already got four health regen there. So we've maxed out Ward at 12. That's the best we can do. Because he already has four for the head and four for the chest. And that's the only regens we have is four and four. So that leaves us with putting this on some other people. Let's see. So Blaze could really use it. We could try to go defensive with Ward and siphon out all the power with these other guys. But I don't know how this is all going to work out. Blinding really might help. Just any time we could have Reduce accuracy by 27, and then we wouldn't have that kill chance. But 27 reduction in accuracy is really not that much. It just isn't. 
but it is a good item. If you have it in conjunction with some other things, then it can really be great to pass that around. Um, that can help you in the end. And Ward has 4% damage reduction. We're going to put a, 25, a 20 on here. That's 24 and plus 40 for this armor. That would be 64% reduction and 12 regen and 10 drain health would give me some survivability, some pretty serious survivability compared to the 4% damage reduction we have right now. If we could get the quickness up on Ward, 56, that, that really doesn't help. We need quickness, 3 quickness there. Yeah, so if we did this, and we did this, and we did this, and do that, we got 60 now. That's pretty good. 49, any more quickness here? No more quickness, but we can get, we do have this one quickness item there. Yep, and that's it. We would have to put that staff on, we may be able to use that, but all right, for right now, let's put on this cloak here and this thing here. This thing is just done. We don't need that for anybody. We already have another one of those in stock anyway. All right, who needs damage reflection? I'll take the power regen the strength we don't need. Uh, what about pants? 22 and 5 quickness. We need that better than that. And it's better than that. And it's better than that. And what about this? Drain health. We need that quickness-ish. But if we're not going to get in front of anybody, then maybe this other thing would be better. I don't know. Then maybe we could do quickness here. No, we don't want to lose that quickness there. We don't want to lose the instant retreat. Uh, then we should have the quickness here. We gotta go for quickness on fire and luck. At least we're at 60. That's getting us in front of something, which is pretty nice. At least that gets us in front of something. And we've got these two guys that can regen now. Alright, so that leaves us with this uh, one power regeneration or damage reflection. Alright, then quickness is better than these things. And the power regeneration is better than that. And that's it. We're stuck. That's the best we're going to get until we get some more stuff. And, um, well, we're almost at our time being up here. So, this is interesting. We could take these guys out. But we would need to do power siphon. Well, hopefully we can stun that Orc Berserker and then do a Power Siphon. Can we do Power Siphon on this final battle? You know, it's not really going to be that great of a plan because we got two Shamans. They can't do anything. There's no damage there. So we can try to stun the Orc Berserker. Well, we can try to stun the Troll. Let the Orc Berserker use up all of his power. And we can work on Crumzak with Blazon Ward. And the Orc Savage, maybe we'll just drain out all of its power. But it can still keep going, even if. So maybe blinding that Orc Savage would be good. Mm, it would be nice to have the draining. Is there anything else that's going to be interesting that we could use against them? Electrical Storm is not really that good. Invisibility, you know, that only delays any problems we have. Arcane Armor, if we all went first and threw down Arcane Armor, that might help us a little bit. Uh, and source of blades, more in source of blades might help a little bit. Um, you know, that's a possibility to do in source of blades. But then we would lose all of our power. We wouldn't be able to stun after that and or do any kind of power siphon. And in order to keep these things in power siphon lock and Crumzak regens, so... I 
and the orc shamans are gonna are gonna curse us. So we almost need, and they're gonna heal. So what we want to do is, yeah, so power siphon is a really good strategy against orc shamans because they will uh, they will try to heal everything, and we could uh, we could definitely drain them of all their power and keep them from healing anything and the orc berserker won't be able to do anything either so that's three units that will be able to absolutely be able to do nothing if we come out strong and kill that troll then even if we lose one or the orc savage kills one in the back row and then we could work on crumzak the orc berserker is going to do a little bit of damage but ward is going to regen I think that is the good plan. I think we should just go ahead and do that, and then whatever happens, happens. We'll do power siphon here. And we might even power siphon here. We could do a power siphon, or we could do armor, or we could try for a third cosmic prison. But I think this power siphon might be a really good strategy. Let Ward suck up the thing in the front. We can do power siphon with blaze in the back that will get us quickly to get them down to nothing and it might be the way to go take that one round or stunning we could try stunning as well that is a really good question i have to think about that well this is definitely going to be the toughest level that we're going to face. Uh, we've got some serious business we can try to play around with and see what happens on this. Uh, but, yeah, if we can stun the Orc Berserkers or do something else, we can... I think Ward definitely needs this uh, armor. Got to have armor, because otherwise we're just going to get wiped out absolutely wiped out everybody else has swords no luck has a sword just for the regen the power regen but we won't need power regen this time because we're not going to be able to stun as much we're going to be doing siphoning more i believe so that's an interesting thought let's just see how that goes that would reduce the accuracy so that would be interesting, and we would lose the poison damage. But um, what's the damage on there? 80. That's pretty good. 74. That's more than Ward will do uh, with all of his extra strength and the, and this long sword. But actually, Ward, you know, will come out with a triple shot. And with a 102% chance, yeah, probably three strikes at 74. That's 200-something damage. And with Blaze, the same thing. So if we just destroy that troll. But let's see what we're going to do. I'm not sure. Well, this episode has definitely been long enough. And uh, until the next time, be well.